Copy that. We're at the pickup zone now. We have visual. We're out of here. Man, I pick my guts out of those things every time. Guess you're sitting next to Marcus then. Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at the Emulsion Infection featured throughout the Gears of War series created by Epic Games. Emulsion was essentially a luminescent, highly volatile, low viscosity fluid, initially discovered on the planet Sierra by an oil rig looking for fuel. Directly after its detection, the liquid is considered to be a biological curiosity, but with the development of the light mass process by Dr. Helen Cooper, humanity soon realised it was possible to refine the substance into an efficient energy source. Because of the severe energy crisis on Sierra during the Era of Silence when humanity had exhausted almost all natural fuel sources, emulsion was immediately touted as a miracle discovery. With the advent of this new, clean, efficient and near abundant resource, their worries were thought to have been over, but over time, emulsion would have devastating effects on Sierra's economy as well as the biology of those affected by it. Unbeknownst to the miners that treated emulsion, not only was it a valuable energy source when adequately processed, but emulsion was also a parasitic organism that possessed fascinating mutagenic properties. Direct prolonged exposure to emulsion fumes would lead to a respiratory disorder known as rust lung, where subjects would experience a severe cough in which rust-coloured phlegm would be expelled from the mouth, followed by laboured breathing, chest, joint and muscle pain, fever, loss of speech, sterility, insomnia, hair loss and aggression. It's here where the parasite would suppress the body's immune system, fuse with the nucleus and begin rewriting the DNA of the host. As the body's red and white blood cells became overwhelmed by the emulsion-radiated cells, melanin production would increase, causing the skin to turn darker until infected yellow veins pumped emulsion throughout the body. This would eventually lead to the creation of mutated humans known as formers who had glowing yellow eyes. I thought it was interesting to note that as an infected body was destroyed, the emulsion would leave the body and attempt to infect another organism, implying a sort of self-awareness which I'll discuss later in the video. As the extraction and conversion of emulsion began to increase, the larger nations which were able to adapt to the new mining practices reaped the rewards from its sale and distribution, while smaller countries buckled under the pressure that the new energy source had on its economy. Over time, emulsion speculation on the financial markets became rampant and entire currencies and economies became linked to its value. This eventually resulted in a sizable economic collapse on the planet Sierra when low emulsion prices crippled the financial sector. Much like the Great Depression of British agriculture that occurred during the late 19th century as a result of a dramatic fall in grain prices caused by rising competitors and the arrival of cheaper transportation methods. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Move it, Gears. We're only going to get one shot to extract those plans. Once we take down the comm towers, this entire base is cut off. The economic collapse on Sierra in turn led to war between the few countries that possessed an abundance of emulsion reserves and those that didn't, in a conflict known as the Pendulum Wars. Unknown to the general public, a new crisis was also forming below the depths as miners of emulsion and their families became sick with rust lung. Desiring to prevent public hysteria and backlash, the coalition of ordered governments that controlled the emulsion reserves relocated the infected to the New Hope Research Facility, where they began experimenting on the infected in secret. Lead geneticist and director of the facility, Dr. Niles Sampson, began practicing genetic experiments, hoping to isolate rust lung and create a cure. As he began to infect varying doses of emulsion to the children of the infected miners, Niles realized that emulsion caused point mutations. 
With this discovery, the director of New Hope started to believe that he could not only create a cure for rust lung, but that he could also evolve the human race into a superior immortal species. These hopes were bolstered by one of the children named Mira, who was immune to emulsion and benefited from the exposure, which caused her to grow at half the rate of ordinary humans. When his attempt to replicate this in others failed, Niles commenced studies on the indigenous creatures found within the hollow that were also resistant to emulsion. Using the DNA of these creatures, the scientists began cross-species genetic experimentation by splicing the DNA of the creatures with that of the children, resulting in the creation of a new species known as the size. Unfortunately for Niles and his team, this was a catastrophic failure as the science became sterile, aggressive and genetically unstable. Over time, the research team discovered that the sires were tough to control, prompting many to leave the facility in the interest of safety, and with these departures came leaks as to the goings-on at New Hope. Once the chairman of the Coalition of Ordered Governments became aware of the unethical experiments at New Hope, the facility was ordered to be shut down, and Dr. Niles Sampson was indicted on charges of cruelty and unethical practices. But before these could be imposed, a splinter faction within the Coalition relocated Niles, his staff, and his subjects to a private hidden facility in Mount Kedar, where he could continue his work without impeding ethics or bureaucracy. It's here that Niles began fertilizing Mira's embryonic stem cells with the DNA of the sires, leading to the creation of the first drone of the Locust Horde. Little did Niles know that by using Mira's stem cells, a hive mind was created among the locusts that could be controlled by her, which is how she eventually became the queen of the locust horde. They do not know why we wage this war. Why we cannot stop. Will not stop. As the pendulum wars raged on the surface of Sira over the next 79 years, the locusts became organized and developed their own civilization in the underground city of Nexus. However, they too began to face the same troubles as their forefathers when members of the locusts became infected with lambency, the result of rust lung advancing to the point that every cell in the body became colonized by emulsion, which then forced the host to infect all life forms around it. Ironically, as the humans above ground fought their arduous war, another civil war was brewing below them between the Locust and their infected brethren. The leader of the Locust Horde, Queen Mira, first sought the assistance of a human scientist named Adam Phoenix to find a cure for lambency in the hope of preventing a war with the surface world. But as the new infection evolved past any biological solution, and with the Locust Horde facing the loss of their underground home to lambency, Mira led her people in the invasion of the surface in an event known as Emergence Day, paving the way for the Locust Wall. For a time, the humans of Sera knew the illusion of peace. Until Emergence Day. Fourteen years after Emergence Day, the humans successfully deployed the light mass bomb against the Locust Horde, killing millions within a large portion of the Outer Hollow by triggering the vast emulsion deposits beneath the surface. However, this had the side effect of producing an aerosol form of emulsion, which rapidly spread among humanity's survivors. By 15 AE, emulsion continued to evolve, producing much more violent mutations among locust lifeforms, due in part to the cross-genetic experimentation done by Niles over a hundred years prior. In the same year, during Operation Hollow Storm, it was found that the locusts had become desperate in their civil war with the Lambert, as their locust capital of Nexus was under siege. Facing the loss of their inner hollows, the locusts elected to sink Jacinta Plateau, humanity's last refuge, in a last ditch effort to stop the Lambert as well as humanity. However, the cog quickly caught onto this plan and turned it to their own advantage, evacuating Jacinto before the locust arrived, after which they triggered the massive emulsion reserves beneath the city by deploying the Hammer of Dawn, effectively destroying the city and flooding the hollows. While this destructive act killed most of the locust horde, the emulsion quickly polluted Sierra's oceans and landscapes, giving rise to new and more aggressive Lambert lifeforms, among them the Lambert storks, leviathans and polyps. With all water sources being contaminated, humans around the world also began succumbing to rust lung and turned into formers as the mutagen altered their DNA structure. By 17 AE, emulsion reached a critical stage in its life cycle, and the Lambert pandemic was on the verge of infecting all life on Sera. Luckily for humanity, Professor Adam Phoenix was able to discover the parasitic nature of emulsion and worked on a way to stop it over 20 years. To this end, he created a superweapon that would destroy both emulsion and anything sufficiently infected by it, which included the entire locust population. To test the weapon, the professor forcibly injected himself with emulsion, which began to rewrite his genetic code. 
When Adam detonated his weapon, those that were only slightly irradiated with the organism were cleansed and all traces of emulsion were wiped from the face of Sira. But this action obliterated those that had been saturated with emulsion, including the Lambent, the Locust, and himself. Now go and live for me. With the sudden global evaporation of raw emulsion, a new energy crisis had been triggered for the human survivors. Over the next 25 years, a technological dark age would define the civilization that was attempting to rebuild itself. Humans were forced to return to traditional and alternative energy sources in the hopes of restoring the Syrian society that existed during the era of silence. As such, humanity was basically back to where they were prior to their discovery of emulsion. Given that most of the human and locust population had been decimated by the wars, I wonder what could have been if the nations of the world had prioritized peace instead of financial prosperity. It's such a tragedy that the actions of a few, especially Dr. Niall Sampson, accelerated the mutations caused by emulsion, leading to the destruction of much of the planet and the loss of so much life. Looking back, I can't help but feel as though the parasitic life form was a type of self-defense mechanism for the planet Sierra. I mean the continuous internal wars fought by the humans and locust hordes threatened to destroy the entire planet, and because the parasite was self-aware, I think that its tactics of controlling its hosts were Sira's way of regaining what it was losing. Humans denied their enemy control. By destroying their own civilization. Well, that's all for today, folks. A big thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at the emulsion found in the Gears of War series. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification icon to stay up to date on all my content. And if there's anything else you'd like to request, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by.